grow and prosper, and it has my full support. Here, here. Chris Stevens. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, can I firstly refer the House to my uh, register of members' interests, particularly uh, my position as chair of the PCS parliamentary group, as I'll be focusing a lot of my remarks on public sector pay. But the true test of a budget is whether, in the days after the political position holds, or whether it starts to unravel uh, within minutes. And that's what happened in this budget. It didn't take very long indeed. Indeed, the suggestion that let's all drink sparkling wine is even unravelling as we speak, as wine experts are going through and casting their eyes on this budget. But in no other area uh, can we see it unravelling other than the much promised uh, pay rise for public sector workers. It turns out, Mr Deputy Speaker, that even the Treasury leaks aren't accurate. Because if you happen to work for a UK government department, this budget gave little or no comfort for civil servants. The Chancellor has said in the last few days in many interviews that pay is a matter for peer review bodies. Mr Deputy Speaker, if you just happen to be a civil servant working for a UK government department, you'll discover that their pay is not covered by a peer review body. It needs Treasury mon money to fund their pay rise. So for those who have, along with many others, helped the, the economic wheels turning, who have, for example, processed and paid universal credit payments for a record number of claimants, who have been subjected to 11 years of pay cuts and pay freezes, there is no clarity at all as to whether they will receive a, either a real terms pay cut or a real terms pay rise. And as the Honourable Member Wonsbeck said, that's not levelling up. If you add to that, Mr Deputy Speaker, the fact that civil servants continue to overpay their pension contributions by 2%, and of course the budget said nothing about that, if you're a public sector worker working for a UK government department, this budget doesn't seem uh, mean much at all. Inflation is over 3% meaning that those who have suffered a real-terms pay cut, a pay freeze this year, predictions are that inflation will rise to perhaps to 4%, some even suggesting 6%. We need a commitment, Mr Deputy Speaker, from the Government that civil servants will be rewarded. Because the devil, as always in the budget, is in the detail. And the Chancellor indicated that the Government wants to cut back jobs to 2019 levels. That equates to 32,000 jobs leaving UK government departments. Now, having seen the benefits in the public sector, public sector employment and the needs for world-class public services, this budget does little to reward those at all who have kept UK government departments going and supported so many people. The government have a duty and a responsibility to reward handsomely those who work for it. Thank you.